Hello travel lovers! Welcome to our channel, where travelers get inspired to plan their favorite destination itinerary trip in a budget-friendly way, and make memorable memories prescribed by our advice on this channel. Today we have an amazing itinerary trip for our viewers on Singapore, where viewers will get complete information about holiday destination country like local culture, food, best season, art, history, transport, visa advice, accommodation cost, expenditure, fun sports activities, and other more exciting things. Understanding Singapore Singapore is a city-state on an island made up of a main island, 62 islands, and vast reclaimed territory. Due to its advantageous position, it has been a significant and thriving commercial center for centuries. Singapore has rapidly advanced to being a developed state since that time. It has developed into an excellent place to live despite high costs and limited land area. Singapore is a major hub for travel and tourism worldwide. Thanks to the Jawor Singapore Causeway, it is connected to Malaysia. Singapore is accessible to practically every major city in the world through Changi Airport, which is largely regarded as the best airport in the world. Currency Singapore Dollar Modes of Payment Although many businesses now accept credit cards, paying with cash is still strongly advised. Languages Tamil, Mandarin Chinese, Malay, and English are the four main languages. The official language of Malaysia is Malay, Bahasa Malaysia, but English is widely used. English and other official languages are spoken and understood by the majority of Singaporeans. Best Food Advice As ethically diverse as its population, Singapore's cuisine combines Malay, Chinese, Indonesian, Indian, and Western influences. A trip to one of the food outlets or food courts at a mall will be both educational and delicious. Chan Tian Chicken Rice is arguably one of Singapore's most well-known hawker food stands and is well-known to both locals and visitors. Best Time to Visit Singapore Singapore is a year-round travel destination, but the ideal months to go there are from December to June. How to get around in Singapore Singapore's mass rapid transit MRT, subway system is the most effective means to navigate around the city-state. There are lines in this subterranean network that round the entire city. Visa Advice The embassy issues tourist visas with a two-year validity period and a 30-day maximum stay allowance. You can apply for the visa by visiting the following website. Accommodation The least expensive and most convenient lodging for visitors on a tight budget is a hostel. Hostels offer a range of accommodations, from individual rooms to bunk beds with 30 or more beds. Cost Expenditure For your trip in Singapore, you should budget about 164 Singapore dollars or $117 each day, which is the daily average price based on what other tourists spent there. Exciting things to do in Singapore Gardens by the Bay plus Super Tree Grove Cloud Forest Visit an urban jungle Singapore Flyer Marina Barrage Singapore Cable Car plus Cable Car Dining The Original Duck Tours Haji Lane Day 1 Urban Nature Modern Marvels Singapore is a city that is more than just a humming metropolis. It is a place where daring new interests are just looking for something new. Gardens by the Bay Start your exploration of the most visited sites in our city at Gardens by the Bay. Three enormous, naturally beautiful cooled conservatories make up this 101 hectare area of lush flora. You can spend the most of the day touring the cloud forest, taking in the beauty of the garden super trees, and taking in the exotic flora on show in the Flower Dome Gardens by the Bay is a beautiful natural park that has come to represent Singapore and is instantly known throughout the world. You can discover outdoor and indoor gardens, lakes, conservatories, enormous sculptures, and other things. Visit the Heritage Garden to learn about Singaporean culture as told via flora. Marina Bay Sands Wander to Marina Bay Sands in the evening along the waterfront. The discerning traveler will find much to do at this integrated resort, from high-rise nightclubs to designer boutiques. The Marina Bay Sands is a popular spot for people who value luxury. 
an integrated resort with three 55-story buildings of lavish hotel rooms and opulent suites with personal waiter services, it is renowned for altering Singapore's downtown skyline. Art Science Museum If you enjoy art, you should head straight for the Art Science Museum. With exhibitions like Future World, where art meets science, this adored venue blurs the distinction between creativity and technology. Take a stroll down to Merlion Park to take pictures of our city's most recognizable landmark to fill your Instagram account. Day 2. Thrills and Spills at Santos Tanjong Beach Club On your second day in Singapore, sun, beach, and surf are waiting for you. The island resort of Santosa, which is off the southern coast of our city, is well known for its white beaches, family-friendly attractions, and action-packed services. The three beaches on the island, from quiet Tanjong Beach to busy Sanlosa Beach, each have their own distinct attractions. We advise enjoying a cocktail while soaking up the sun at Tanjong Beach Club. Universal Studio Singapore Visit Universal Studios Singapore for the remainder of the day to experience the magic of the movies. The seven districts of this theme park, each with a different movie theme, are home to a variety of thrilling rides. The only Universal Studios theme park in Southeast Asia is located at Universal Studios Singapore. Seven distinct themed zones at Universal Studios Singapore provide an immersive entertainment experience, each with fun rides and on-site entertainment. It would be best to allot one full day at Universal Studios Singapore in order to enjoy all the attractions to their fullest. Day passes cost 41 Singapore dollars for tourists 60 and over, 59 Singapore dollars for kids between the ages of 4 and 12, and 79 Singapore dollars for those over the age of 13. Free admission is offered to children under the age of 4. Sea Aquarium at Resorts World Sentosa Ultimately, visit Sea Aquarium to set out on an underwater expedition. Within the aquarium's glass walls, you'll find 100,000 species from the depths of the ocean. At the Shark Sea's habitat, you can take in the power of apex predators, or at the open ocean habitat, you can lose yourself in the splendor of the deep. Quayside Isle at Sentosa Cove Be sure to Quayside Isle if you are hungry. From the genuine Greek meals at Mykonos on the bay to the fusion Chinese food served at Blue Lotus Chinese Grill House, a variety of cuisines are served at this peaceful waterfront location. Things to do at Quayside Isle Snap pictures of the light displays. After dinner, walk along the marina. Reserve a spot at a Straits Wine Company tasting. Burger and Steakhouse, a rock bar. Bar and Grill Tapas by the Sea, Sabio. Blue Lotus Chinese Restaurant. Night Safari. Take a walk on the wild side at the Night Safari as darkness settles over our city. Over 130 different species, ranging from the Indian rhinoceros to the Malayan tiger, are housed at the first ever nocturnal animal park in the world. By taking one of the four stroll routes, you'll be able to meet these amazing creatures up close. We advise opting for the guided tram ride, tram ride if you're feeling a little worn out from the day's activities. You will go throughout all seven of the wildlife park's distinctive habitats during this 35-minute trip. Day 3. Culture and Heritage in an Area with a Rich History National Museum of Singapore At the National Museum of Singapore, spend the morning learning about the history and culture of our city. This grand old lady of the local museums brings our country's history to life in rich detail, and its exhibits are likely to both captivate and educate. Visit the Magic and Menace exhibition to learn about the realm of Southeast Asian shamanism, or visit the Singapore History Gallery to study our country's past. If you're looking for a memento, don't forget to peruse through the museum label's unique, art-inspired merchandise. National Gallery Singapore Visit the National Gallery Singapore in the afternoon to see artwork from all over the world. This top-tier institution is housed in the identical structures that historically served as our county's city hall and supreme court, and boasts more than 8,000 pieces of art from Singapore and the surrounding countries. Orchard Road Orchard Road, our island's most well-known shopping district, is where the Lion City status as a retail haven is fully realized. The numerous malls along this busy retail strip 
are a great place to spend the majority of the evening looking for hidden treasures. Hypermarkets like Ion Orchard and Wismayatria are full of international brands and trendy clothing, while the Hiran and Mandarin Gallery are home to luxury labels. A wide variety of top-notch eateries, including Michelin-rated spots like Ben, Len Amis, and Alma by Duan Amador, can be found on Orchard Road. Design Orchard Visit Design Orchard to peruse lovingly made local goods or visit the Apple Store to look for the newest technology. Visitors who are thirsty should go to Emerald Hill. There are a few hopping bars in this attractive neighborhood that offer ice-cold wine and live music performances. Day 4. Hips Meat Heritage Chinatown Chinatown is a fascinating fusion of old and new with its lamp streets, trendy boutiques, and historic temples. Take a trip down South Bridge Street to fully experience Singapore's diverse culture. The spectacular architecture and insightful insights of Masha Jamai, Shrey Maryam Man Temple, and Buddha Tooth Relic Temple and Museum are evidence of Singapore's religious diversity. Chinatown Heritage Center Visit the Chinatown Heritage Center as an alternative. The galleries of this establishment, which are housed in three exquisitely renovated malls on Pagoda Street, have multisensory exhibitions that depict the lives of Chinatown's early inhabitants. Chinatown Complex Food Center Singapore's largest hawker complex, Chinatown Food Complex, is a good place to stop for lunch. The restaurant is home to more than 260 food vendors, including Ding Liao Fan Hong Kong Soya Sauce Chicken Rice and Noodle, the least expensive Michelin star dish in the entire globe. Lim Chi Guan Make sure you bring back a flavor of Singapore before leaving the neighborhood. Spices from Anthony the Spice Maker and Bakwa, barbecued beef slices, from Lim Chi Guan are both excellent food souvenirs. Haji Lane One of the most well-known landmarks in the Kampong Glam district is Haji Lane. Independent stores, boutiques, bars, and restaurants abound in the area. It is Singapore's tiniest street. It is a cute street with a decent variety of shops and coffee shops. The early shop house design can be seen in the local shop houses. Walking down this street alone is a visual treat because of how uniquely and artistically each shop is created. Heiji Lane Hours of Operation It is always open. Although the road is open around the clock, most of the shops close around 9 p.m. We suggest doing your shopping first if you arrive in the late afternoon before heading out to eat nearby if you arrive in the early evening. You don't want to miss any of the stores that close by dinner time or those stay open until after 9 or 10 p.m. Day 5. Peranakan Delights and Rich Culture Ju Chayat or Ketong It is one of Singapore's liveliest neighborhoods with its rainbow-hued heritage storehouses, hip cafes, and contemporary boutiques. The area is renowned for being a treasure trove of all things Peranakan, with restaurants, shops, and architecture displaying the strong impact of the culture. Try some Peranakan kue at Kim Chu Kuchang, savor a steaming bowl of hot kadon laksa, a spicy noodle soup prepared with coconut milk, and then go shopping for some new clothes. Dressed in traditional Nanyu costume at Ruma Babe. Loof. There are many restaurants in the area, however we advise having supper and drink at Loof. This adorable rooftop bar serves customers delicious cocktails and mouth-watering comfort food while drawing influence from the nostalgia of Singapore's past. Day 6. Lush Green Spaces Singapore Botanic Gardens Singapore has the distinction of being a city in a garden, with green spaces and parks covering the entire island, in contrast to the majority of contemporary metropolises, which are urban sprawls. Singapore Botanic Gardens is a great place to spend the day surrounded by serene nature. More than 600,000 orchid plants can be found in the National Orchid Garden at this UNESCO World Heritage Site. To learn more about this 161-year-old garden, go to the Singapore Botanic Gardens Heritage Museum. You can learn more about the area's lengthy and colorful history by visiting this wonderfully preserved colonial building. The Hylia Restaurant The Hylia, a restaurant surrounded by the one-hectare ginger garden, is a great place for hungry nature enthusiasts to replenish.
You may eat a selection of pastries, salads, and brunch mainstays at this restaurant that specializes in Western cuisine. The Southern Ridges Walk along the Southern Mountain Ranges in the evening. Local bird watchers and nature enthusiasts adore this lush, 10-kilometer stretch that connects some of Singapore's most beautiful green spaces, including Mount Faber Park, Labrador Nature Reserve, and Hort Park. Henderson Waves, a pedestrian overpass suspended 36 meters above the ground, is a great place to unwind if you're feeling exhausted. To experience some magnificent sunset views, schedule your vacation to arrive around sunset. Day 7. Jewel Changi Airport Before departing, spend your final day in Singapore, exploring the appropriately named Jewel Changi. Unquestionably, the HSBC Rain Vortex, the largest indoor waterfall in the world, is the centerpiece of Jewel Changi. This stunning piece of contemporary engineering, which is surrounded by the terraced Shizido Forest Valley, is a great place to unwind. Visit Canopy Park if you're a family looking for a place to have adventure with your kids. There, you may get tangled in the mirror maze's twists and turns, jump for joy on the Manu Life sky nets, bouncing and admire the Discovery Slide's stunning aesthetics. You can satisfy your appetite for Peranik and food at Violet Moon Singapore, or go to Tiger Street Lab for hawker specialties and a cold cup of local beer before boarding your flight. Finally, before you leave this video, we ask that you remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube ch channel if you truly enjoy it, so that we may provide our viewers such fantastic vacation location itineraries. Keep in touch and don't stop daydreaming about your travel destination until then. Thank you for watching and showing your love and support.